is up YouTube not 15 fair to back for a deck profile uh, today I'm gonna go over my rescue deck profile it's just the deck I use when playing rescue because why not um <coughs> anyway let's get into it so the starting Vanguard is black candle Ezreal it's skills gem break one counter blast one put it in soul put top card of your deck in your damage zone and then choose a face card in your damage zone add it to your hand it gets you whatever you it gets you three run <coughs> 11 crit four crit hand critical angel four Mun car the Gab Gabriel put in soul draw 5k thing three and then three or whatever you want because you know uh, one left roast because I mean it's left roast it's still too good I don't run the rescue stand because like if you have more like, if you have a bunch of stands in your deck it makes your turns your attacking turns with uh, the Gabriel stride very awkward and then four heal trigger no explanations to be needed um, and then for our grade ones I run four. Battle Cupidocio. Battle Cupidocio skill. When it's placed in the Guardian Circle, you game and swap. So it lets you get Gabriel's Gem Break 2 ability off during your opponent's turn. Then you power up your Vanguard to 13k, or you can, you know, you can put whatever you need to damage his own, grab whatever you need, up your shield by 5k, grab a perfect card, whatever you need to do. Um, for Shy Dabler, you need to stride to win. I mean, self explanatory. This is a Gem Break deck. Um, for Dark Droid Rebud. It's the G effect perfect card. Its skill is Gem Break Wood. When it's placed on the guard circle, you have a face up copy in your damage zone. Counter Blast Wood, heal a damage. Or actually, I'm just gonna I'm gonna preface this right now. This is a rescue effect if you don't know. You heal a damage, then you deal one damage to your vanguard. So counter blast so just for the rest of this video. So in other words, when you guard with it, if you have another copy in your damage zone, counter blast one and you rescue. And then three drill motor nurse. When it's put in the drop zone from rescue, you call to regard circle, and actually, when I was put in the drop zone period from the uh, from the damage zone, you call it to a rear guard circle, and if it's put there through a rescue skill, it gets 3k, so it's a 10k booster. It lets your rescues turn into plus ones, which is nice. And then for grade twos, run um, four Zabin, or no, actually, no, run three Zabinia. Um, her skill is on call, counter boss one, soul boss one. Choose a card from your hand, put it in your damage zone face up. When it's placed on, on rear guard circle, you have Gabriel Vanguard. Choose a face up card in your damage zone, call it to rear guard circle, and the unit you call gets 2k power, and then you can rescue. It's pretty good, it lets you. It's two dam It's two cards to your damage zone, so it lets uh, Broken Heart trigger twice. Then we have uh, three Laser Clutcher Keel. Um, it's basically the grade 2 version of Drill Butter Nurse. I mean, you know, it lets you go plus it. It's an attacker. I plus drill the motor is a booster. So, you know, it is it is what it is. And then for Broken Heart, it's Nurse of Broken Heart. I, I shouldn't have to explain anything. I mean, this card is the best angle for the grade 2, period. Doesn't matter what great angle for the grade 2 you like, Ain't no, Broken Heart is better. And then for grade 3, it's for Gavriel, um, Star of the Deck. Gem Break 2, whenever cards put in your damage zone, it gets a skill that your entire front row gets 2k power. That skill does stack, and it gets a skill, not, oh, your units in the front get 2k power. So, like, if you don't have anything in your front row at the moment, when using the skill, and you get something in your front row later, after, like, the skill's been used, those units get the power. They get the power from before they were called, because the Vanguard has the skill. Not, not, not all, all the units get 2k power. People don't get how that works for some reason. It's, it's not that hard. And then it's break shot skill is what it, um, counter boss one, check your top three, put one of those top three cards in your damage zone face up, rest go to the bottom, and then choose a card from your damage zone, call to a guard circle, and the card you call gets 2k power. It's like a mini Gurkwit. Like, it's pretty good. Um, the other great three I'm winning is Rec Requiem Pegasus. Um, so this deck, I feel like there are two ways to build it. You can build it with no seals in the alternate great three, and you can build it with this or... I forgot its name, but it has the on call counter blast one, soul blast one to check for a rescue unit. Um, you can build that balance grade three. I chose this one. Um, this unit just it has an effect on Vanguard Circle, so I like that. And that effect is when it hits the Vanguard, um, choose a rear guard, give it two K power, and then rescue. So it, it it can come in handy here and there. Then for our grade fours, um, one Uriel on hit, check top th check top three. Put something in that put one of those in damage, call something you basically use the break shards ability. Um but you can only call a grade two or lower card, but I mean it's 
all right. It's kind of where you go into it, but I mean, it, it's there if you need it. When Rezio, you know, put some Vanguard Circle, Soul Blast 2, take all the cards you damage zone, put them back in your deck, shuffle your deck, and then for every card that you put from your damage zone to your deck, you put that many cards from the top of your deck in your damage zone. So if you have 5 damage, Broken Heart, and you have 2 Broken Hearts, that's 20k to your Vanguard, so it's pretty nice. It comes in handy here and there. One Zerakiel, Zerakiel, um, your skill is once per turn, Counter Blast 1, G Flip something, you're generally going to G Flip Sabreeze. Um, if you have a face up card in your damage zone, all of your regards in the front get 3k, and then if you have 5 turns in damage zone, the front gets an extra, t um, he she gets an extra 10k. You, oh, if you're going first, if you stride first, you go into her right away because that unlocks Gemma Q from the start because you want to unlock Gemma Q as quickly as possible because that way then you can, you can start getting that, it, you can get the defense immediately. Once a breeze because it's, it's a generation, uh, it's a G, G deck, so, you know, you need to breeze. And, I mean, at worst, you know, if you, if you, your opponent doesn't decide, you know, to create two game you or miss ride or whatever, you can just flip with Zerakiel. And then, for the rest of the G zone, one Dismal, because Broken Arts is too good. Uh, three Suriel. Suriel's skill is when it's placed on uh, Guardian Circle, Counter Boss 1, um, look at the top card of your deck, put it at the top of Grotto, and then you rescue. So, you can ensure you'll hit a trigger. Um, not ensure, but, okay, you can you can increase your chances of hitting a trigger, essentially, with that skill. So... And the trigger does activate, so if we get a heal trigger, then the heal trigger goes off. It's it's pretty stupid, not gonna lie. Um, run three. Uh, I don't like the the twenty k fighter collection one card, honestly. Just I'd rather, cause you can just cheese your numbers, essentially. You can run one if you want. I I mean, you can run one of it over dismal, but I mean, people like to attack broken heart because broken heart's too good. So I have dismal there to protect broken heart. And then for Gabrielle, Gabrielle's skill is gem break 2, counter boss 1, persona flip, and it gets a skill. The skill that it gets is when a card is put in your damage zone during the battle phase, choose 2 units and give them 2k power, and then after it attacks, you rescue um, you rescue 2 cards. So, you're going to at least for sure get 4k power to 2 of your cards, and if you had, um, if you get Reckoning Pegasus effect off, I mean, hey, you know, that's a thing too. And if you want to run, uh, if you want to run Malak, and you get his skill off, that's extra stuff too. I just don't run Malik because it's... I'd rather, get the, I'd rather get the plus. And then lastly, for Raphael, Raphael skill, you G-flip and you heal one. Like, that, that, it's pretty self-explanatory. You, you, can, you can heal for free. I mean, <laughs> no other clan has this. Um, so yeah, this deck is actually really, really fun. Although, how do I... It has a bit of a learning curve, I will say that. Uh, for like Angel Feather, the clan in general, I want to say has a learning curve where, like, it's kind of like Great Nature, like where, for example, okay, like I never play Great Nature, and one day I picked up a Great Nature deck and I had no idea what the heck I was doing, and it's not like a, it's generally, it's a deck that you have to, you have to, you're gonna have to play it a couple times before you, uh, before you're like, oh, okay, I said, like, it's, I mean, it's not that hard to pick up, but. Even then, you know, um, don't get discouraged if you have no idea what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty fun deck. It lets you cheese on numbers. But uh, yeah, anyway, this has been Natsu slash QBFT Fairy Tale, signing out.